Brandon, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Continuing this, you know, tutorial, teaching you CSS, the easy way, the money way. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like the buttons, man. Make sure you like the button. Make sure you like this video by clicking the button. You dig? All right, so let's get back at it. Um, very simple. Where were we? Okay, so let's learn how to target, you know, different elements. So let's say an example we have a div and then we call this matter of fact let's start with this how do we target a div right remember that you target a div by basically going into the CSS and typing div and then from there you put in your styles there's the properties of your styles that you're putting into that div but remember when you just say div it targets every single one so if we had you know 20 divs in the page it's going to target every single one you see but let's say an example we wanted to target uh, each one individually so we could actually go in and put an ID and say hey ID title and then we could go in and say class subtitle all right now we could go in here and say hashtag ID oops no what was the, the ID that we gave it hashtag title so now the other div is there but it's not being affected by this you know this properties that you put into that ID so let's say an example here you see you have that div and then you have another one that's invisible because there's no height and there's no background so we haven't put any styles on it but it's still there but it's not being affected by the new properties because we're only targeting the title the ID with title right okay so let's say an example we could go in and put in subtitle red and then let's say with 300 pixels height and 300 pixels no, one fifty. No, that's fine. Three hundred and one fifty. You see? Now we're targeting that one. So if you see here, we could be a specific, right? Now let's say an example inside of this subtitle, right? We had a paragraph. Let's say whatever you know a bunch of gibberish inside that that paragraph right how do we target that paragraph alone right the way how we would do this is by doing something like this we'll say subtitle and then you put a space and now you will put in the tag so what that means is inside a subtitle uh, any paragraph Every well, every paragraph inside of it give this the style. So let's say padding, 15 pixels, and then font size, 20 pixels. You see, now it has that padding, and it has the size. Now let's say an example. We wanted to target uh, a div that has multiple classes and, and let's say side menu and then it has active so now you could target that and say okay side menu no. that side menu active 
dot 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 i menu and then active okay right and then you will say background and then height 100 with 100 so we can see it let's make sure side menu side active see now right now what we're saying is inside of side menu target active this is not what we want we want to target side menu a div that has side menu and active as classes together so what you do is you basically instead of a space because remember a space means a child inside of it so for this we just basically say okay no space inside of it is going to give me it's just basically saying okay a div that has both classes pretty simple right you see how it came up alright now let's see what else what else can I teach you guys as far as targeting let's say an example uh, let's say inside of here right we say span right so now we're going more deeper inside of the you know the paragraph so we have have like, like this so you could understand it you have this one as the parent this one's the parent of pa uh, paragraph and then paragraph is the parent of span so you could target that by saying something like this subtitle paragraph and then span now you could go in and say color white now let's make sure you see so now I target you know pretty much what's inside a subtitle I say okay inside a subtitle there's a paragraph and inside of the, that paragraph there's a span and I want to target that one right so that's how you target you know inside of it basically nesting it's called nesting right now let's say another example of targeting let's say let's look at CSS3 W3 schools introduction let's say CSS and let's say uh, I want you guys to get used to coming here and sometimes looking for stuff so pseudo classes what are pseudo classes pseudo classes is used to define a special state of an element so special state would be something like let's say hovering when you you know hover on top of an image or on top of a div what the what happens when you know when you hover it right so how do you do that right how do you target that let's say an example we have uh, side menu active now let's wanna we wanna hover it and change matter of fact keep it like that right let's do right under it do something like the side menu that active and then hover now let's do this uh, right now when I hover on top of that violet it's going to turn black you see that's a state so pretty much it is pretty much you just controlling what happens on certain states right so this a whole bunch of different song you know pseudo classes here you know for hover you got a link when there's a link when the link is already visited you could change the color whenever you hover on top of it now when it's active you could go active is when you click now let's say an example uh, let's see all the pseudo classes right let's say an example nth child this one is super super useful right you can come in and say hey I want to target 
I don't want to target. Okay, there's one, two, three. There's three divs. Right? Now I want to target div that nth child. I want to target the middle one. So the middle one is the second one. So I will say Add in, yeah, let's say 50 pixels. Let's go back here. All right. Let me make sure it's saving. Maybe I'm typing it wrong. An example. Let's try P. Okay, it changed. Let's do something else like this let's target div class a and div right so I want to target An example. Let's say B F child and then background red. Now let's say an example. You see, so if I take this out, right, and I go like this, all of the the bees is going to be black. But if I turn this one on, the second child, pretty much the second one, is going to be red, and it's going to be bigger. And I could go ahead and change it to the third one, but like that, or put it to the first one. You know what I mean? So, that's how you target, you know, CSS. Alright, guys. I hope that you guys understood what was going on. Any questions, make sure you leave a comment. And let me know, was this video any helpful, you know? You know, I kept it pretty simple as far as how to, how to target different elements on a page. You know, with this, you're going to be able to understand, like, okay... You could go ahead and target it by, you know, going in there one by one and say, okay, subtitle, and inside of subtitle, there's a paragraph, and inside of the paragraph, there's a span. You could do something like that, or you could say, okay, if side menu and has another class active, then target it by that, or let's say side menu active, hover, you know, sky's the limit. This is just the basics. This is going to basically open the doors for you to be able to start styling things. All right, guys. Keeping it simple. Any questions, make sure to leave a comment and let me know. It's your boy. Subscribe. Bow.